Hello and welcome to the video webcast for Factory 2010. My name is Markus Jansson and in this video I'm going to show you the usage of the WebFactory ADS native connector with the Beckhoff TwinCAT system. So for now, before we start working uh, on importing the items into the WebFactory system, there are two uh, things to keep in mind. The first one is you have your uh, uh, TwinCAT uh, services right here. Just make a right mouse click. Don't worry, it's a German operating system, uh, but you can uh, follow the steps uh, also on an English one. Uh, call the properties and on your properties of your TwinCAT system you have a so-called AMS router ID and uh, this is the AMS net ID and this ID is used inside the WebFactory system later on. So uh, keep uh, Keep this in mind and uh, be sure that these uh, two addresses uh, fit together. So the next one is um, uh, your project itself. When you create a project, uh, then you are creating a so-called uh, TPY file. And this is the important file for imp importing all the items into the WebFactory system. So with these uh, two things in mind, let's start with the WebFactory system. So first of all, just start the WebFactory uh, Studio for uh, configuring your items. And here in the uh, WebFactory, WebFactory Studio, sorry, uh, just uh, create a new database. I call it uh, the user ID as A and the password is WebFactory. WebFactory. And uh, just click on the drop-down box to make a new project. So for now, uh, just uh, generate a new database and uh, I give him a name, I just call it uh, Backoff underscore uh, ADS uh, EN for an English example and click on the button U to create the database. Okay, after creating the database, just log into the database and the WebFactory Studio. And in this step, just set this current database as the active database uh, for the WebFactory system. So, what do we now? We just uh, make a new server. That means uh, it's just a new WebFactory server system and uh, the name uh, should be uh, typed in with a dot, means all the time use the local system and uh, then make a right mouse click on this dot on the left hand side and uh, choose new connector and now choose Beckhoff ADS connector. Okay, now you have the connection to this uh, ADS uh, device of Beckhoff and now just say I want to have a new device the new device is named uh, with a prefix, uh, you can type any name right here in the name field and here this uh, ADS net ID appears again and uh, this ADS net ID must be set to the same ID you are, you are using in your uh, backup environment. So uh, if this is not the same ID as in your backup environment you will not get uh, any contact with the ADS system. Okay, now uh, let's proceed. I just uh, save it. You have the ADS net ID right here. And now I just uh, use the uh, import functionality here. And this means just, just click on uh, import configuration. And now you have the possibility to uh, take this TPY file and just import this TPY file with all the items uh, are used in your project. Uh, click on the uh, tab signals. And when you click on the PLC, you see all your items currently used in your project. So that's all for now, just save it and now the connector is configured to run with the ADF, ADS um, interface. Now let's uh, take the AD, ADS interface and put it into the web factory world. So make a right mouse click on your connector, say browse this connector and now you will see all your items filtered and grouped uh, like it is grouped in your ADS connector. You see that the items uh, get the name with a prefix, uh, PLC1 for example. This prefix I have used uh, to identify the uh, ADS interface in WebFactory. Now I click on the topmost uh, level, I browse all the sub-items and I click on one item, press Ctrl A to select all and I say now I want to have this uh, in my oops, sorry, group 1 destination group, I click on add. It says please create the group if it's not existing. I say yes, I have it in here. And now when I click on my group list right here, I can see all my items. And now when I click on my group list right here, I can see all my items. 
So these are the only steps you have to do to bring your ADS items to the web factory system and that's quite easy to import the ADF, ADS items and work with the ADS items in the WebFactory Studio. The following steps for using these items on an HTML page uh, and in a Silverlight project can be found in a separate web webcast on our website The usage of these items inside a Silverlight project can be found on a separate video on our website www.webfactory-world.de Thanks for listening and enjoy the WebFactory system.